this is a follow-up, um, another example of how we can feel bathed by energy that we were raised in. This is a really common one that I notice in a lot of people. And if you're raised in a family where there's been a lot of controlling, where your parents are quite controlling and they are one or the other of them always demanding and having rules and uh, could be a strict religious upbringing, could be any number of things, but just constantly feeling controlled, like there's really a lot of definition of what's right, what's wrong, what's expected. Then people grow up um, really feeling controlled. <laughs> that there really are all these things that you have to be on the lookout for, that you've got to be doing, and, and that they actually are something you have to guide yourself with. So you grow up, actually, with an energy that's quite familiar, where you feel controlled. You're told what to do, so you don't have to think. So it's not as though you're that spontaneous or eager to think outside the box. And uh, you, when, when we grow up, we often find ourselves in a situation where we're very busy all the time. We're very busy achievers. We're actually running around with this to do and that to do. We could be sitting still, just thinking, I have to do this, I have to do that. And you make up lists and you have all of these things that put a structure around you so that it again feels just like it did growing up, that so many things are controlling you. There's so many things that you have to do or tend to. So if you feel that way, could you welcome that? Could you welcome that sense of how busy you are and how important things are and how much you have to do, which kind of feels like I want to control? Just welcome that. Welcome how many things you feel you're responsible for that you have to control. And then can you welcome how in fact things are just things 